What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with some breaking Cavaliers news for you guys. And it's news that we've all been waiting for. As, of course, free agency is now three days old. And the Cavs have essentially done three things that they needed to do. They got themselves a backup point guard. Well, actually two, but they got one guy to fill in for the other guy that we signed. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but yeah, you get it. We signed Neto to fill in for Rubio while he's, you know, still on the men from his injury. And who, of course, will be backing up Darius Garland. Then we signed a backup center in Robin Lopez, who's pretty good. You know, I heard he's got a really good hook shot. So can't wait to see that in action. And then, earlier today, the Cavs locked in one of their best players, Darius Garland. My guy right here. As just a little bit ago, Woj sent out this tweet, and I quote, Cleveland Cavaliers all-star guard Darius Garland has agreed on a five-year, $193 million maximum designated rookie contract extension that could be worth as much as $231 million at Clutch Sports CEO Rich Paul tells ESPN. It is the largest deal in franchise history. That last sentence absolutely baffles me considering we had LeBron James on this team for so many years. But you got to remember in his second term, the dude signed like a bunch of one-year deals. I mean, this team had like no future beyond one year because the dude kept signing one-year deals and we couldn't bring in free agents because those guys didn't know if LeBron was going to leave after one year. Because they didn't want to sign a long-term deal here and then have LeBron leave and then they're left with a low-key scrubby team. Well, we locked in our franchise point guard and I'm freaking excited, man. I am freaking pumped up. You know? Now all we got to do is bring back Colin Sexton, and we're all set. Yeah, that's really it for my offseason checklist. Now you look at Darius Garland's stats last year, 68 games, 22 points per game on average, if you round it up, three total rebounds, nine assists, so pretty much a double-double almost, which is freaking insane. He shot 46% from the field, 38% from three, 89% from the free throw line. His EFG percentage is 54. Again, if you round up. 19 per. And then his six, his win shares are 6.3. So overall, very good. Considering a couple years ago, he was seen by many as arguably the worst player in the league. And now he's making big money. And he could make even bigger money if he makes an NBA team a couple times too. So... I'm liking what I'm seeing from Darius, and he's only going to get better. You already know. I could just see him taking off this year, especially when Ricky Rubio comes back, because we saw how good he was when Rubio was playing. Like, it's like this thing where if your team signs Rubio, your team's point guard is going to go off. Like, look at all the other point guards that have gone off with Rubio on their team. It's just something with Ricky, man. You got to love it. I'm glad we brought him back. I want to see Darius Garland reach a whole new level. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. It'll be interesting to see what else Kobe Altman has in store for us. Honestly, I'm hoping our next move is bringing back Colin Sexton. But honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if our next move is maybe trading Windler, Nosman, maybe Sexton. You never know. You know, trade Windler and Osman for more pieces or something. Wouldn't shock me. That's what everyone's saying on Twitter right now. Don't be surprised if you see that. But right now, I like the way this roster is looking. We could maybe use a wing player, but I don't know. We'll see what they do. But yeah, if anything else comes out with the Cavs, I'll be sure to make a video on it. If it is video worthy, of course. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm CrazyDog99. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll be back later today where I'll be streaming the Jankies and the Guardians Game 2 of the Doubleheader. And I'll be back on Monday for 
Probably game two of the doubleheader against the Tigers. Yeah, that's right. Two doubleheaders in three days. Oh! <sighs> of course. <laughs> oh, this team is going to be a wreck by the end of this stretch. Man, my God. <laughs> Low key, that rain delay yesterday was a blessing because this team had already played so many games in a row. But they get a nice little doubleheader, a chance to relax a little bit, recuperate. And then, oh, yeah, two doubleheaders in three days. Nice. Yep. But, hey, it is what it is. So, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go, Cavs. And I'll see you later tonight. Bye-bye.